What's up, YouTube family? What's up, beautiful people? Welcome back. And this one, peeps, I brought you right here to the porch. We're sitting here in front of my cast iron wood burning stove. And as you can tell, peeps, we have a Confederate flag right here. I know you're probably wondering, like, Pastor, why do you have a Confederate flag anywhere near you, brother? Hey, we're going to get into that. First off, peeps, I want to show y'all something. We're going to get into some medicine, too. As you can see here, we have a beautiful nug. We already got the pipe loaded up. We have something flammable. Oh, yeah. If you haven't put two, one and one together to make two or two to two together to make four, hey, I don't know what to tell you. But let me show you something, peeps. And this one, before we jump into this, I'm going to get some medicine in. Yes, I am. But... Yeah, my Native American tribal ID, of course, I have my pertinent information marked out, but Lumbee, Native American. If you want to look up Lumbees or us black Indians, as they like to call us, you can on Wikipedia. Also, you can look up on Wikipedia what we're going to be going over today. I'm just going to be, be touching on a few points, the Battle of Hayes Pond, and I'm going to tell you how I feel about the KKK. All right, peeps? So I'm going to get some of this medicine in. I hope you stick around with me to the end of this video. I'm going to try to keep it under 11 minutes. And we're going to get this done with burning this mother right here, yo. For real, cuz. Cheers, peeps. I hope you're having a good one, man. Up with love, down with hate, man. All right, peeps, so I'm going to read this to y'all, and we're going to get it in. <clears throat> the Battle of Hayes Pond. <sighs> the Battle of Hayes Pond was an armed confrontation between the Knights of the Ku Klux Klan and the Lumbee Indians at a Klan rally near Maxton, North Carolina, on the night of January the 18th, 1958. <clears throat> Grand Dragon James W. Catfish Cole was the organizer of the Klan rally. Sanford Locklear, Simeon Oxendine, and Neil Lowry were leaders of the Lumbee who attacked the Klansmen and successfully dis successfully disrupted the rally. <laughs> I was about to cough right there. Okay, it's the Battle of Hayes Pond. As you can see the information right there, it talks about everything in it. Okay, and what happened, how many people were there, commanders and leader leaders, the belligerents and all that, why not, alright? Okay, so we're going to go into the other part where it says, <clears throat> the Klan violent escalates. Now, these people right here that we're talking about are my ancestors, my great uncle, my great cousins, all right? Because this happened before I was even born, okay? So, on January the 13th, 1958, Klansmen burned a cross on the lawn of a Lumbee woman in the town of St. Paul's, North Carolina, as a warning because she was dating a white man. In Bolden, he gave a strong speech denouncing the loose morals of Lumbee women, warning that venereal disease could be spread to the white population by their noted promiscuity the clan then struck promiscuity <clears throat> the clan then struck at lumbee men burning across at a tavern frequented by the lumbee Cole denounced the Lumbee men as lazy, drunken, and prone to criminal activity. The Klan then burned a cross on the lawn of a Lumbee family who had moved into a white neighborhood as a final warning for the Lumbee to remain in their areas. Believing that he had a Lumbee on the run, he announced plans for a Klan rally on January the 18th, 1958, near the small town of Maston, intended to put the Indians in their place to end race mixing, quote-unquote. His speeches calling the Lumbees half-niggers and denouncing mongrelization of the races provoked anger among the Lumbee. <clears throat> okay, so it goes on to the battle and everything like that, peeps, and to the aftermath. We're going to get into that. I need to get a little bit more medicine in, peeps. So uh, we can get on some of this Nacho Father's Root Beer right here. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's some good stuff right there. I hope y'all hanging out with me, peeps. Cheers, 420. All right, y'all, so <sighs> on the night of the rally, 500 to 100 Klansmen arrived at the private field near Hayes Pond, which Cole had leased from a sympathetic farmer. Cole set up the public address system that er and erected the cross. All 
under the illumination of a single light bulb. Before Cole could finish the arrangements, over 500 Lumbee men, many armed with rocks, sticks, and firearms, appeared and encircled the assembled clansmen. First, the Lumbee shot out one light, darkening the field and panicking the clansmen. Then the Lumbee began yelling and attacking, <clears throat> firing shots at the clansmen, several of whom briefly returned fire to no avail. Four clansmen were wounded in an exchange of gunfire, the remaining clansmen fled the scene, leaving family members in the public address system, an unlit cross, and various clan regalia behind. Cole reportedly left his wife behind and escaped through a nearby swamp. <laughs> Coward left his wife behind. After the Lumbee <clears throat> celebrated by holding up the abandoned KKK banner, Charlie Warax and World War II veteran Simeon Oxendine were shown wrapped in it in a Life magazine photo. Oxendine, Neil Lowry, and Sanford Locklear were acknowledged by the Lumbee as leaders of the attack, which they called the Kloss. Many local, state, and national newspapers covered the event and captured photos of the Lumbee burning the regalia and dancing around in open fire. A posse of Robinson County deputies led by the sheriff arrived on the scene, dispersing the Lumbee with tear gas grenades and terminating in the celebration after the aftermath that goes on <clears throat> in the days after the confrontation the defiant Cole called the Lumbee lawless mongrels and denounced local law enforcement for failing to intervene earlier in the confrontation Public opinion, however, turned against Cole. North Carolina Governor Luther H. Hodges denounced the Klan in a press statement. Cole was prosecuted, convicted, and served a two-year sentence for inciting a riot. With Cole in prison, the Klan ceased its activities in Robinson County. The Lumbee have now celebrated the anniversary as always, you know, celebrating it because they truly disrupted the clan rally which they called the battle of Hayes Pond all right so and that one peeps I'm gonna show you the peep <clears throat> here goes a picture all right of my people all right <clears throat> this right here is the picture the trophy of victory a flag they took from a clan car <clears throat> okay so it they wrapped themselves in this that's what it says down here at the bottom. There's the text, and it says this is a flag that they took for the clan car, and they wrapped themselves in it. So you can see that. You can also go on the internet and see all that stuff too. Once again, it's called the Battle of Hayes Pond. That is my great, my great uncle and my great cousin, yo. My great uncle and my great cousin. So you already know what we're getting ready to do right here, peeps. We're getting ready to, uh, we're gonna take some of this right here. We're gonna put some of this in here. All right. We're going to take this down. We're going to throw that right there. Yo. You also know we're getting ready to... We're going to set that joker. Look at that. You already know. We're spraying it. Boom. Let's get some of that on there. Let that soak right quick. All right? Let's take some of this medicine. Because you know what we're getting ready to do, dog. We're getting ready to burn this Confederate flag, cuz. Because let me tell you something. You know, we don't tolerate that hate, especially being Native Americans, especially being Christian. You ain't supposed to tolerate that, number one. All right, you're supposed to love. Number two, yo, this is a, this is a, you're idolizing any, any flag, any flag, anything like that, any graven image, anything like that that you put up and you give reverence to, man, no matter how you want to try to, you know, wrap it around, oh, this is just a symbol for this or what that. Yeah, it's an image, it's a symbol, it's a, it's an image and it's a, it's an idol to you. So you know what I'm going to do to this idol? You know, I'm going to burn this idol so we're going to get this in peeps i'm gonna get some medicine in <laughs> thou shalt not have any graven images in your worship you understand that thou shalt not have any graven images in your worship yo so you know what let's torch this beyond Yee! you already know I didn't even let it sit. Man, beautiful. Burn. Burn. Yee! You already know. That's that long big cough. Yee! <laughs> you already know, brothers. Long B. We don't tolerate that junk. We don't tolerate that hate, cuz. Yo, so get that junk up out of here. You want to try to say this is your land, you white nationalists? Hey, us Native Americans were here first. 
All right. If you don't like this land, oh, this is our land like you was chatting the other day. We were here first. Us and the Vikings. All right. So if you have anything to do with the Spaniards or uh, Europeans, because, yes, yeah, Spain is European. Or, you know, if you are <laughs> of any of that, bounce then. Go back to another country, dude. Go back to Europe. Go back to Spain. Go back to where you came from if you don't like this country where our ancestors were here first and you took the land from our people. You got that? You took the land from our people. We were here first, dog. Get the fuck out of our country if you don't like it. White supremacy. Bullshit, man. It makes me sick. Freaking idiots.